Jen, definitely kicking things up a notch for the school day. And for all these Connecticut teams, it was a competition tastefully done. Chopped, sliced, sauteed, and diced at Dunkin' Donuts Park. Their hot stove league looks like this. It is like what you see on the Food Network. For these high school teams, the culinary competition has begun. The Connecticut Restaurant Association and the Connecticut Hospitality Education Foundation, CHEF for short, are leading what's called the Pro Start Invitational. It's part dishing and part pitching. Today we have our Connecticut Pro Start Invitational, where we have five culinary teams and two restaurant management teams, high school students that are part of the Pro Start program, competing for spots at the National Pro Start Invitational. And the two winning teams from uh, culinary and restaurant management will get to go to DC. The team from Wilbur Cross High in New Haven has won the cooking competition the last seven out of nine years. They won both the management and culinary contest this year. So we made three dishes, an appetizer, an entree, and a dessert. So for our appetizer, we made a red snapper. Our entree was a chicken calamata olive roulade. And for our dessert was a yuzu mango chocolate mousse. A partner at the Doro Restaurant Group, Chef Scott Miller served as a judge. You know, when, when you have down days and you think about, oh, it's so hard to get employees, it's so hard to do this, and you come out to an event like this and you see these kids that are really, really passionate, just really, really awesome to watch. With the winners, Wilbur Cross, representing the state at the May Nationals in D.C., it's still just desserts for all involved. I'm just inspired by the students, their dedication, and seeing what they produce is far beyond what most of us can do in the kitchen and they're high school students. And the winning three course meal, this the red snapper appetizer, the chicken and Kalamata olives entree and the chocolate mousse for dessert. Congrats to the team from Wilbur Cross and to all the teams. Jim Altman, Fox 61 News, guys back to you.